As we continue celebrating 70 great years of broadcasting here in the Tennessee Valley, we're taking a look back and talking with some of the folks who helped make all this possible. We began with Ben Cagle, who started off as a production technician and wound up as vice president and general manager. And alongside Ben, it's our friend and member of the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, Earl Friedenberg. Hey, Earl. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, Happy brother. anniversary. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. The business has obviously changed a lot. The physical facilities have obviously changed a lot. What was one of your more memorable experiences when you were here working your way up the ladder? Oh, pull up a chair. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't know. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a different ball game back then. Even right. like I mentioned earlier there on the on the uh, commercials, we would all get together and come up with ideas mm -hmm. uh, for different clients. And what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And and it, it was a it was a fun time. I can remember and I felt this way. I think I've told Earl this before. We we did a lot of work here, but I was having so much fun, especially in the sales end of it, that I was afraid that I was going to be found out that I was having fun because I would have worked for free. I would have worked here for free. I loved it that much. And I see people, well, I'm going to try this job and see if that works and try this. I never had that. I always, I knew, uh, thank you, God. I always knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I thank God for it every day. It, it was a party. It was a party every day. Earl, you had the distinction of doing, uh, among other things, the first live shot that was ever done in Chattanooga. And well, you it was also, the first one on 12, on Channel 12. And you also had a really cool experience involving chief videographer David Moore and a country music legend, not David Moore, the country music legend Roy Acuff. Yes. Charlie Leuven, Leuven Brothers, Henniger, mm -hmm. Alabama, yeah. came by the television station one day. He says, Earl, we need some help publicizing our May on the Mountain Festival. We're having Roy Acuff this year. And he says, I'm not doing too good with my ticket sales. Can you help us? So we got some publicity for Charlie on some of the local programs. And the night that Roy Acuff was down there, I said, David Moore, you and I are going to go to Henniger, Alabama. <laughs> and I said, we're going to go down there and shoot Roy Acuff. And he says, who? I said, you don't know Wabash Cannonball? And well, maybe my mama heard that back when I was growing up. Anyway, we went to Henniger. David was so good. He got Roy Acuff. You know, Roy would take the fiddle bow and mm -hmm. balance it on his nose. Right. And then he did the yo-yo tricks. And then he sang Wabash Cannonball. And we did a little interview. But that video... Charlie Leuven called me several years later. He says, do you still have copies of that? Luther Massengale, a friend, but friend doesn't seem to encapsulate it. He was so much more than that. He was our family. He was our family. When I left here, I left here, uh, went to Johnson City, bought a first, my first radio station. And Luther would still call me every three to four months. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is Luther's way of telling me that he's thinking about me. I pick up the phone. Ben? Luther? Is this? Ben, Ben. Yeah, Luther. Love you. Click. <laughs> he was hanging up on me. He, but that was his sense of humor. I was so watching the morning. You came on the air at 6 o'clock. I was praying for you because I know how hard it was to tell Chattanooga that the voice of WDEF was dead. And I felt for you that morning because I know that you had a very, very difficult time in getting out those words. Luther meant so much. He, it just, I walked through the front door and I thought, they need a picture of Luther in this building because Luther is WDEF radio and television. 70, what, 72, 73 years. Yeah. 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 It was certainly, without doubt, the most challenging thing I've ever had to do publicly in the media. I, I wish we had more time to spend together, but thanks so much to both of you for being such a big part of WDEF. And I will tell you both that uh, Earl, of course, and Ben have been longtime friends. And uh, guys, I'm honored to call you both friends. Thank you so much. It's mutual. It's wonderful, wonderful having you as part Happy of anniversary, WDEF. Happy I want to say it. You're watching the Big 12 in Chattanooga. Look at this camera right over here and say just it's that. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? You're watching the Big 12 in Chattanooga. <laughs>